Hi right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the first video of 2024. How about that? Hope you had a good Christmas and New Year. You're probably seeing this weeks later, so like old news, Mark. But I'm back on the North Downs in the village of Waldingham um, to look at a couple of churches. One I have been to quite a few times before, which is actually on a video last year about uh, five churches on the um, North Downs, which I'll link below. I'll talk a bit more about that later. So this is St Paul's Church, built in 1934, on the site of an earlier wooden church that was built in 1905 but demolished in 1969. Obviously as Waldingham was growing as a community, they needed bigger churches. You've got St Agatha's down the road we're going to next. Um, it's a lovely flint church. Very modern. I don't normally do modern churches, but it's, I've always passed it and thought, I'd always like to just stop by and have a, have a quick look, you know, so it's uh, rather nice. Waldingham was mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086. I would say this is the, around this area, we're going to lunch at Botley Hill Farmhouse, which we were at last year. And that is the highest point on the North Downs. But here at Waldingham, we're 700, 700 feet above sea level. 700 feet. A really nice church. I doubt it's going to be open. No, not open. It's a shame, isn't it? I thought I just wanted to quickly come here and uh, show you it. It's a lovely church. I love that little up there. It says forever. Very cool. Quarter past ten. Lovely. A bit crisp this morning. It's about mm, ten degrees. Well, no, about nine, ten degrees Celsius. We've had no frost. No frost at all down south, but we rarely do these days. Um, been a very mild winter so far. Yeah. There we go. So what? Well. There you go, we couldn't get inside, but I wanted to show you anyway. So what we're going to do now, just pop up the road and go back to St Agatha's Church, which I know won't be open, but it's a fascinating church. And uh, I will link that video below, as I said, of the five churches on the North Downs that I did last year. It's really interesting. Let's go. So this is the original church of Waldingham, St Agatha's, one of the smallest churches in Surrey, I think obviously the country as well. I think the third highest on the North Downs after St Martha on the Hill. And what would the other one be? The one at Cold Harbour I went to last year as well, the year before? Yeah. Earliest mention of this church is 1270 in a will, 1270. But even by 1677, it was in disrepair and the diaries John Evelyn wrote down in his diary about the uh, state of the place. It's a beautiful church, still used for, con uh, for, for worship, there's a seat for about 40 people. I first discovered this church when I was walking uh, the Waldingham Circular Walk um, back in I think 2017. I didn't video it, I took some photos which I'll insert here as I'm talking. And um, on the, when I was reading the, you know, the, the route, he said, oh, it's St Agatha's Church, one of the highest churches in Surrey, very small, oh, let's go and check this out. And obviously I've been back since, I said I did a video from here from last year. Um, it's a lovely place, very peaceful. 
It's very peaceful. I remember this from last time. It's a really mini bench, really mini bench. The church was restored in 1832. And I think one of the highest churches in Surrey, I think 790 feet. Look at this lovely yew tree. I love this yew tree. Fantastic. Can we get up in it? I do like a good yew tree. No. This church is open every day for prayer and choir. Well, every time I come here, it isn't. It's just a little video of this, out and about. First video of 2024. Um, what we might do now then, is pop down to the viewpoint and to see lovely view across the North Downs um, it's such a bright day it's gonna rain this afternoon but at the moment it's blue sky it's really nice so yeah St Agatha's Church I know I've been here before but hey let's carry on This is Waldingham Viewpoint, the M25 circular road around London down there. It's very hazy, so I probably can't see much on this camera. But yeah, you've got the constant hum of the traffic. I mean, we're still within the M25. I know it's just there, but we're still within the M25. It's hard to believe when you see this beautiful countryside around us. It's very posh around Waldingham, very posh. You've also got Waldingham School, private school which I did walk her through uh, when I did the walk originally back in 2017, I think it was, as I said. Uh, so a quick look over the, um, over the road down to this little field here. Here in the UK, we've had five days of really, really strong winds. Um, really bad. I think a couple of people have been killed by falling uh, t uh, trees and things like that. It's calmed down, but up here on the North Downs, you don't really see, there's not don't seem to be much damage um, on this lovely day. But yeah, it's been really handy. I only finished, I think, yesterday, the, some of the, the strong winds. So as we were here at Tatsfield, nearby, near Waldingham, before lunch at the Botley Hill Farmhouse Pub, I brought you back to St Mary's Church. I was here last year. I've been here three times. It's just a fantastic church. Originally built in 1075 with earlier Saxon foundations. And this is a pilgrim church. We're on the Pilgrim's Way, North Downs Way. Uh, that fictional route that people used to go and visit the shrine of Thomas of Becket, which we now know was a myth, although it is an ancient trackway, it is an ancient trackway. Um, but yeah, there's no evidence that um, pilgrims went to Canterbury from Winchester, none at all. That was interesting, a lovely lady said, yeah, go and have a look, we're just taking the Christmas tree down, go inside, I went inside, and the daggers I got from a couple of the people helping take the Christmas tree down inside the church was blinding. It made me feel so unwelcome. I was like, wow, okay. And I said to them, sorry guys, I'm, I might, I'm not feeling very comfortable. Are you, do, and I'm not welcome here to church. It was open. The lady said I could go in. And um, <laughs> that was bizarre. You know, I'm not religious. That's got nothing to do with it. I'm just very, I'm very friendly though. And I walked in, they just stared at me, and I said, so, okay, so have a quick look at your church, and they're just staring at me, like that. I'm like, I said, and I just, these are my exact words, okay, I'm not feeling very welcome here, so I'll leave you to it, and <laughs> have a good day. God, that's spoilt the day a little bit, but hey. It's 
also overlooking that beautiful view down into the Kent countryside. This is an installation, an art installation on the downs, just up near Botley Hill. The Cockolith, it's called, the Cocolith, the Cockolith. And little places to sit, which would be lovely on a summer's day, or even today actually. And looking straight down onto the hazy countryside and the M25 down below, good old M25, the constant hum. It's lovely, really, really cool. I didn't know these were here. Obviously you've got the uh, Surrey Hills sign there of outstanding natural beauty, which it is any time of year. And here's part of the North Downs Way. Here, we didn't walk this bit. I think there's, a... I don't remember ever walking this bit. We videoed it all. So it might be, we might take a different route. Or did we? No, I think we did, because I remember coming out by Botley Hill. Um, ignore me, talking rubbish. So yeah, lovely. What do you think? Never had that before, I've got to admit. Never had that before. The amount of churches I've been into over the years. Um, never had it. Never had it. I remember now the North Downs Way, sorry going back, I remember we walked down further down and then Kate walked up. Yeah, we were a bit further down, that's all it was. So we're on a bit of the North Downs Way, this is obviously an ancient trackway going back thousands of years. Um, that our ancestors would have used back in the day. So here we are at Botley Hill, at Botley Hill Farmhouse. Botley Hill is the highest point on the North Downs. The highest point. Um, so it's great. It's a lovely place. I say I have been, I was only here last year, I've been here before. Um, it's a lovely, lovely pub, very popular. It's got lunch in 12.15. Uh, have a look around, it'd be great. I think the farmhouse is 16th century, 16th century. And also Botley Hill lies on the prime meridian which is quite interesting and just skirts the other, sort of the other side of the farmhouse the prime meridian coming down from Greenwich so yeah what we'll do now is go inside have some grub um hopefully a very welcoming welcoming pub unlike the church <laughs> So a lovely lunch at the Botley Hill Farmhouse, where I was here last year. Brilliant staff, really welcoming, lovely food, um, really nice, absolutely brilliant. I know it's quite a famous pub in the Surrey Hills, uh, but it's very much worth coming here. To um, the highest point in the North Downs. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, a little stroll around Waldingham, uh, the unfriendly church um, at Tatsfield. But don't worry, I've been there before and the link's below where I actually go into the church and actually explore with no one there. Um, yeah, still astounding that. But yeah, great. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>